Hi, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today I have a yard sale haul that I went to and I spent a total of $36.75 for most of these items on the rack and there's some above plus some hard goods. Most of it was vintage and let me just say I did pretty good. All right, I made notes with how much I paid for the item versus how much I think I can sell for it to give you a better idea of my real numbers. Okay, so let's get started. I went to a very small town and I was not expecting much. I thought it would be a bunch of junk, but I love junk because the vintage stuff is what I truly care to sell and I found quite a bit of it. So let's get started. I found a vintage Walt Disney, Disneyland, um, pictorial book and it shows really neat pictures. Like there's the monorail. Um, of how it used to look. Let me check the date on this. I'm guessing it's from the 70s. Anyways, I paid a quarter for this and I believe I can sell it for 15 to 20. It's just darling. I mean, yeah, it's really cute. Um, I got, I didn't know this was in the box of stuff I got with all the vintage clothes. I'm going to show you actually my thumbnail. Those are probably my favorite pieces. Um, these are like wood beads with, uh, they almost look like stickers applied. It's like a punk antisocial back off, leave me alone beads, but I didn't pay a quarter for them. They were just included in a box. So a free, I guess, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe I could get sell these for 12 to 15 just because they are unique and I don't think that they are modern. I think they are probably 1990s. Okay, I got these cool bangles. I will show you, very colorful. I paid a dollar for the whole bag. And I'm going to sell the thicker ones that are Lucite. None of it's gonna focus, but um, really neat colors. Very 70s. I'm gonna sell these as a lot. eBay's really oversaturated, so I'm probably gonna put these on Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy and ask like, 30 and then put all these on and ask 20 just see what happens next I have and I didn't know what this was at the moment because I didn't look too closely but it was 50 cents and it's just a vintage cell or shell um, for a fountain pen unfortunately it is missing that the actual pen but I figured somebody could just use it as a pen holder the thing that made me purchase it um, is it's marked uh, Linux. That's the Linux uh, logo. And it's a custom made. So I picked it up. Somebody's trying to sell theirs with the pen for 60 on eBay since I don't have the pen. I'm going to range, I'm guessing it'll sell for like 25. Um, I'll start it at 40 and just see. If you like to sell vintage girl clothes, you have probably heard of. Daisy Kingdom. I have not just found the appliques. Uh, I thought they might be worth a little bit more than they really are. If you ever find um, this kind of style, like girls dress already made, you should definitely check comps on it because they can flip pretty, pretty well. Um, I'm only looking to make five to $10 off of this. And so I paid a dollar for these. Uh, when I'm garage selling, you know, I don't like to take the time to check comps unless it is a higher dollar item and I'm a little leery to invest in it, then I will. But for the most part, I just usually go with my gut unless it's cheap enough and I'll risk it. Here we have a vintage New York, New York vintage, or I said vintage, uh, wood handle umbrella. And I'm not superstitious, so I'm going to open it and show you. It's really cool skyline. Uh, it is unbranded. There's a tag on the inside that says made in Taiwan, so I'm guessing 80s. Plan to list this for about 30. I've got some more vintage material. This one is children around the world. I'll show you the front, it's more interesting. And you can make dolls with them. Um, these didn't flip for a whole lot, but I think it came in this bag and I paid $1.50 for the whole bag. 
Um, so if I can get like 10 for that, I'll take it. And then it's a, uh, probably like early 90s, maybe late 80s, a bunch of uh, fabric like that you can cut out and make plush or ornaments or whatever. Um, what do I have to make on that? Probably 20 or 30. That vintage Christmas material can do pretty well, so keep an eye out. Another thing that can also do pretty well. Vintage hair curlers. You want to check comps because some are oversaturated and some are not worth picking up. However, this model is. It's the Clairol 20 Instant Hair Setter and it does come with the pins. Paid a dollar. And I have down here to make about $35. When I'm telling you these comps, they are based off of eBay and I do not include free shipping. So the buyer always pays shipping. Okay. You know, I always love to sell a good belt. So, of course, I had to find one. This one's got like a brass buckle. It was a quarter. It's really neatly embossed. I don't know how to explain the design, but yeah, this quarter. Why not? I'm looking to get maybe 20 for that. Here we have a... This appears to be handmade. I don't see any tags, and it is well made. It is a quilt... Well, not a quilt. It's a quilt tapestry for Raggedy Ann and Andy. It's cute. There are collectors out there, and I currently have a probably 1970s Raggedy Ann doll. It's a jumbo. It's like 42 inches long in my uh, eBay store. If you're a collector. Right, I got three pairs of shoes. I found these Sperry Combat Boots for $2. They are women's. They do need, as you can see, there is mud there, but a magic eraser will clean that right up, and I will use uh, Doc Martin Wonder Balsam on the leather to make it look like new. They do show somewhere on the bottom, but the tread is still good. I picked up something, and it was only $2. I'm like, eh, why is it so cheap? And then I realized when I got home. But these are Michael by Michael Kors. As you can see, the rubber's pretty dirty, but you can clean that up with some olive oil. Works well for rubber rain boots. They are size seven and a half, but I got home and I realized where you pull, the material has come on. Look, so I'm going to try to use a thick needle and repair it, but I don't know, um, 25 to 35, depending on how good of a job I can do on the repair and I will have to disclose it. So yeah, that was kind of a bummer, but it was only $2, so. If you don't know this brand, it uh, sells pretty well. It's a comfort shoe. It's SAS, S-A-S. -S. And uh, these are brand new. Like, yeah, these are brand new. Maybe worn once. And um, they sell really well. They retail for 100 to $175. Uh, so if you see these and you can get them for like $5 or less, you should pick them up. I'm hoping to make about 30, maybe even 40 on these. And the size is on the, well, you can't see it because it's too dark, but it's on the inside. And these are actually size uh, six wide. And I feel like the wide shoes usually sell a little bit better. All right. I think that is all of my hard goods. Let's move on to the clothes. Alrighty. Um, here we just have a basic, uh, floral maxi skirt. It was only 50 cents. So I decided to pick it up. It's by Carol Reed. The vintage brands don't matter near as much as like modern fashion. It's more so about um, the size and the, the design or um, our, I'm spacing out on the word I'm looking for, but yeah, just cute. 50 cents. Hoping to get 25 for that one. Also, side note, have you noticed that my haul setup is slightly different? When I go back and watch my videos while I'm editing, I notice that when I'm holding up my items to show you, my frame is too small and too close to the camera. And so I prefer to do it this way. We'll see how it turns out. Let me know in the comments down below if you like it this way or if you like it when I do it the other way, which is when I sit down and it's not already hung up for you. Okie doke. Oh, I forgot these pants. I always look at jeans. I love selling jeans. I got some Burn Ladies. 
It's a good workwear brand. And they are flannel line. They're like new. They've got the mini, like almost like cargo. Yeah, they're pretty much cargo pants, carpenter pants. They've got the little loop for your hammer. Um, I got two pairs of those for a dollar a piece. And as long as they're the same size, I will probably just lot them up and sell them together for $30. The comps weren't as good as I was hoping, but for only a dollar a piece, I'll still make money. And then I got some, oh, these need wash. They're kind of dusty, but some really neat black Gitano, that's how you say it, tapered leg jeans. Here is the label on the back. They are a 20 wide short, so they actually for a woman. Um, I did find some vintage plus size clothes today, which is pretty rare because most of the vintage clothes I do find, it's like a women's size two, which is really small. Okay, just going to go in the order that I have them hung up. I don't know if you've heard me mention before, but I still pick up LuLaRoe if I can get it for a good price. It does depend on the style and the size. I don't really sell the leggings anymore unless they're donated to me for free. Uh, this is a 3X and this one is new with tag. It is the Jesse style. Love the print. It's just a nice flowy dress and it has pockets. Like I said, I paid five for this and they do sell really fast for me. I'm hoping to get 30. This piece I normally do not thrift. Uh, it was $2 and it is Chico's, which is a more mature brand. Um, I'm going to send this one into thread up. I like the pattern on it with the pastel, like purple and grays. It's like a watercolor denim jacket. So I'm gonna send that into thread up. This one I initially got for my husband, but looking at it closer, it looks a little smaller than I thought, but it's a Chicago Bulls Christmas sweater, and it is by the NBA. I paid $2 for it, and it is in like hardly worn condition, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to get 30 for this one. And I'm gonna put my Christmas stuff near the end of my death pile because I've been thrifting so much lately. If you've noticed, I've been posting a lot of haul videos, yeah. Um, I need to get to work. <laughs> So I'm going to probably put my Christmas stuff or my winter stuff near the end of my death pile, but cute. I was at a garage sale, like going through a rack and I noticed these, I just love vintage kids clothes. Um, and if you see the tag, it says $5 a piece and I wouldn't pay $5 for it because I'm guessing these would sell for like 20, maybe 25 during Christmas season. And the lady said I would lower the price on those, so I asked if she would take three a piece, and she agreed. Um, here we have, which is darling. I normally don't find that cute of boys' clothes. Um, and it's a little one piece, but look at how cute that little vest and um, tie. And it is by uh, a decent brand, Brian. Uh, I have sold a couple of their girls' dresses for like twenty to thirty, so I think this one will do well. And it buttons up the back, just darling, and it's still in the original hanger. My own's like brand new without tags. So I'll pick that one up. And then also this one, this is not by Brian, but it is made in the USA uh, with the lace bib collar. It's a six to nine months by Jolene. So it's a cute little, the bloomers included in the back, buttons down. Okay. So my best score of the day was near the very end of garage selling today there was a box under a table and it said play clothes 25 cents each i noticed the crazy metallic patterns looked vintage so i went there first started digging through it and everything was amazing um i got nine pieces out of that box and so she gave me the whole box for five dollars because i didn't want to sift through everything there were a few items that I'm not going to resell like some modern slips, um, but nine pieces for $5. I divided it down, which so I broke it down to 55 cents per item that I'm going to show you. Uh, here we have an 80, I believe it's 80s, metallic cardigan sweater set. It is very itchy. Uh, 
it, and it's like textured. It almost feels like, I don't know how to describe it. The style was kind of popular in the 80s, maybe 90s. And it is unbranded, but it's got that lot number. It is a large with the little um, cami underneath. So I'm hoping to get maybe 25 for this. We'll see. I think because of the color, maybe closer to the holidays. Um, whoops. Here we have a mod dress. Do you notice the size of it? I would consider this plus size. I would say that's probably a modern size 14, maybe a 12. I'll have to do measurements. I always include measurements with vintage clothes because they may be tag one size and it's usually way off. This brand I thought would be higher end because the label is partially unattached, but when they're tacked on like this, usually it means it's a higher end brand. I can't read it backwards. Paul Parnes. Um, and it's got this nice detail on the neckline, nice sheath dress. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's a thicker material and it is textured. One thing to note is, I don't know why, but the person used white thread to hem the bottom. So that will need to come undone. Actually, you know what? I can actually just take it out. It's already unstitched. So yeah, I'm going to unstitch that. And it's got like a four inch seam allowance on the bottom, which is good to know in vintage dresses in your description. That's something I recently learned because people like to have it hemmed according to their height. So, okay. What did I have this one at? I think I had 80. Yeah, and I lost my notes, so I'm just gonna have to go off the top of my head. All right, yeah, um, with my vintage pieces, I usually price them up pretty high and wait for the right buyer. But yeah, based off of style, let's see, the zipper is nylon. It's a talon, talon zipper, so I'm guessing 60s based on style and whatnot. So I'll probably ask $80 for this. If it was a smaller size, I wouldn't ask as much. But due to the size, I think it's going to be a quicker sale. Yeah. $80. I need to find my note because I had written down how much I'm going to make everything so I can tell you guys uh, here we have another plus size beautiful dress it's a nice green and uh, the collar I'm pretty sure is real fur it doesn't say but it's super soft with a nylon zipper yeah it's just really pretty I don't know if you can see it up close. It's kind of like a weird texture. There is a couple small blemishes right there that I will try to soak. Well, it's got fur on it, so I can't soak up the spot, clean it, see how it goes. Uh, one thing I am just now noticing, well, before I, there is a raw hem, somebody undid the hem, but there is also a loose uh, hem here. So I will stitch that up, but I will leave the hem undone. and. Uh, whoever gets it can fix it. So probably $50 just because it needs the hem fixed. But based on the size, it should sell pretty pretty quick. Well, being a bigger size just helps it sell. Yeah. Okay, getting down to it. I saved my last favorite four for the very end. Here is a nice corduroy jumper from Northcrest, which is, or was, sold at Walmart. I don't know if they still are. Here's the vintage tag, if you remember. Probably 90s, uh, but it is an awesome size. It's a large, yeah, so cute with the front pockets. How darling is that? I think I was gonna ask 30 for that one, 25 to 30. Here is a beautiful maxi dress. This is also vintage. It has the uh, nylon zipper. I'm not sure if it's 60s or 70s. Um, it is unbranded. How gorgeous is that? And it's got the low back, well, lower back. And it is full length. Like, it goes down to the floor. 
um, I would say it's probably a size six or eight. Yeah, it is just gorgeous. It is lined. I do not see any flaws on it. Doesn't mean that there isn't. There may be a few minor snags, but yeah, it is just gorgeous. I think I'm going to price this one at $100, so we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this, oh my gosh, the mock neck, it is full length, it's got uh, metallic gold thread throughout, it is so sparkly, and look at the floral retro pattern, I absolutely love this dress, I'm noticing it has belt loops, or at least a sash loop, I don't know if it has a belt or not, which would definitely break up the pattern, so I'm going to have to go through my belt collection and see which belt looks best. Whenever I see, oh, and the sleeves are, are the sleeves sheer? No, but they're um, kind of like a balloon sleeve, and they have snaps at the end, which snaps can help date the dress, so I'll have to look and see um, what dig in. I don't know if it's 60s or 70s, and it's a loose fit, just, yeah, I love it. I don't know if this would be considered a moo moo. I'm not sure. I'll do more research. I did not see a brand in here. I don't think it is tagged a size 16, size 16 vintage, but it's probably a, um, I'd say probably like a women's 12. All right, two, three pieces left. This one is a gorgeous, another metallic threaded dress. But check out these buttons all the way, well, about half the way down. Look at how cute that is. And none of them are missing, thank goodness, because I would not be able to place them. Look at this gorgeous pattern. The sleeves, balloon sleeve. Sleeves are sheer. By Rico. It is a, yeah, this is how I try things on. Yeah, I'd probably say a six. It is gorgeous. Like, gorgeous and a lot of these vintage clothes you find them in the thrift stores and they're flawed but this one looks really well made and I don't see any flaws doesn't mean that there isn't there's probably a few minor snags but this is gorgeous I'm also going to try to get about a hundred dollars for this one and it has um yeah like I'm is that a flaw yeah the has a little short front slit um and it looks like there's a loose string there so I'll restitch that one but gorgeous 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 this one is heavy. There are no interior tags. It is heavily embroidered and it's really stiff. Um, it's like a midi jacket with gold and silver thread throughout with this really cute clip in the front. Try to zoom in on this, you can see. Do you look at that detail? Oh my goodness. This is just stunning. There's no size or anything inside. It is nicely lined. The stitching is impeccable. Like, oh my goodness, I love this piece. But yeah, it is heavy. There are flaws. I'm gonna have to spend some time on this. Some little girl got some glue glitter and on a few spots on this. Um, so I'll have to try to repair that, but I'm hoping to get 75 to 100 for this. And I haven't researched this piece yet. Um, if you have any idea on uh, like a designer, please let me know. Alrighty, one last one to go. All right, this is a high low. Um, I don't know if you call this a mumu or a caftan. It goes over your neck. It's like a sheer poncho kind of. But uh, there's the front. Do you see it? It uh, probably goes down to your knees in the front and then it's full length in the back. But look at this, it is gorgeous. And it's probably like a one size. So, okay. My grand total that I spent was like I said, about $36. And I plan on getting a total of about $1,300. So 
great return on investment. It's normally not this good, but like I said, I found amazing vintage for very low prices. So great return on investment. Not always like this. I just got lucky today, but thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And yes, my son is anxious for me to stop recording. So have a great weekend, everybody. Stay safe.